Okay, y'all, so I didn't finish my conversation from the yesterday about the debt that the U.S. has, right? So, you know, I'm having my walk, and I guess I'm supposed to continue my conversation that I was having from the last video about the debt, me seeing that the debt was like $34 trillion or something on a sign downtown. And it just came to my mind today that this, I saw something that said um, on YouTube, it said something about a thief paying uh, back sevenfold, right? Um, and that was one of the scriptures. I don't know which one I didn't, I read the, the numbers, but I didn't remember them. I'm pretty sure you can go find it or something. Um, or I'll post it at the in the description, right? And so, you know, it made me think, we're so used to being persecuted and we're so used to persecuting black and brown people of, of especially, um, not thinking about other nationalities who also uh, do these things, but for some reason, the the girl who posted that that scripture, I watch her a lot, and I like her content. But I guess that hit my spirit, right? Because of my past and everything, or you know, I guess it hit anybody's spirit, right? That has that in their family or themselves or whatever, because we're all one, basically. Um, just different experiences. But it made me think, not only have I paid back sevenfold, um, even though Jesus already died for my sins, <laughs> and I've been forgiven, and I forgive myself and others, not only have I paid back sevenfold um, in several ways, not just monetarily, but spiritually, emotionally, financially, physically, my family, everything. Always not, never thinking about the fact that um, not thinking about the fact that sometimes people get so religious to the point where they continue to come to judge others over and over and over making them pay past the sevenfold right and so um especially when they first find out about some find out about you or something or look into who you are or whatever and then it's like um but if we go, if we go not only back to our ancestors and everything that was stolen, but everything that's been stolen now, and we think about not just resources, money, people, um, hearts, souls, let's go all the way in. Let's, let's go all the way in on talking about really what has been stolen. Uh, distraction, attention, futures. Um, let's talk. Let's talk about everything that has been stolen, right? If we're gonna get into um, that that scripture in particular, and a thief having to pay back sevenfold, and let's not just focus it in on one group of people, which normally black and brown people are at the top of that list, right? Um, but when you think about the people who uh, actually hold the purse and, the, and create the actual debts that are up on that billboard, why, why is that debt that amount? It's not the people that, it's not, it's not, it's not the people that are 
at the bottom of the total pole or at the bottom of the pyramid that's creating those debts why why are those trillions of dollars in debts there if there's such a wealth gap if all the churches all the black churches across the world doesn't even hit a five doesn't even make up doesn't even make up a um doesn't even make up a a, a, a fortune 500 company with the amount of funds that they bring in or any other um minority business who uh, where, where's that trillions of dollars in debt who who's having to pay that back that's more than sevenfold um and so so who are those people who are responsible for those trillions of dollars in debt and why right that would definitely have to come with um some form of something being um taken right or it sounds like to me that that would have to come with some form of like, like what is why is it so high is my question I mean in the last video I was talking about how you know I know everything has a price and the people who are here people we help in other places and all of that can run up a, a debt right can run up a check real easily in my last video if you want to check it out but um when you get down to the bottom of it why is the debt so so large what what type of assistance what type of help are we given to where that amount is owed i guess that's what i'm trying to say because usually you receive something what did what did we receive for those trillions and trillions of dollars in debt what did we receive or what did we take i guess that's my question i ain't even gonna say we <laughs> it ain't me <laughs> ah. Ah. i ain't get a, i ain't get no parts of the trillions yet <laughs> uh, I may I might have gotten a freaking of of that debt zero 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 point uh half of a percent But that's okay, because I'm going to be in the 1% starting today. <laughs> yeah, I just made a decision. Today, I'm a 1%er. I know we were talking about being 5%ers in my, in my, uh, uh, um, in the Trading Academy that class that I went to the other day for stocks, um, he was talking about being a five percenter. Like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm the one. I'm, I'm a one percenter. Let's, let's just say that I'm a one percenter now. Now I'm a one percenter. No five percent. I'm a one percenter now. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's. Yeah. Just because God said so. <laughs> the goddess said so. So anyway, y'all. I'm just out here soaking up some sun. Taking a deep breath. Peace be still. And letting Yahweh have his way with me <laughs> so
So y'all be y'all be good out there. Y'all be safe. Bye.